you guys are in victory because you're the majority. And I think that's good. That's, that's, that's why I'm for. So um, I, I don't know uh, where the disagreement was there, but yeah. I, w I would like to start. So um, I think the fact that we're doing centralized checkpointing to secure the chain is a, uh, is a, is a huge loss. We should never have to do centralized checkpointing. So um, the fact that we had to resort to that means like we fucked up. Well, I, I, do not, I do not consent to any centralized checkpointing. There should be none of them. Well, there should be one. It is called the Genesis block. So um, well, they had. I mean, I I think think I think it's in the right. And uh, if we're adding centralized checkpointing to ABC now to prevent a fifty-one percent from uh, attack from SV, it means we fucked up, and we should not be doing this because. It we'll is get abused later in the future if we do. We say we're in wartime, so we're applying this measure. You know, we're just going to apply the centralized checkpoint only this time. But suddenly, one time becomes every time. So now, every time we want to fork, we'll have a centralized checkpoint, right? So, you can tell me if I'm wrong, Andreas, but didn't the Bitcoin yeah. software? Didn't Bitcoin Core um, have checkpoints up until I don't I don't know when, but at, at yeah, one they will fuck themselves. So they replaced it with the assume valid, which kind of kind of sort of does the same thing, but it doesn't have the same effect as a checkpoint. The BCHD code, which I forked, has still has the checkpoints in it. Um, but I think the the bottom line there, I mean, granted, yeah, normally you don't the set a reason. Line is a genesis block. What's that? The bottom line is the genesis block. Yeah. Of checkpoints. So checkpoints ridiculous. So the the issue with checkpoints is, is normally it's not a big deal because like you don't normally set a recent checkpoint, right? You don't set it like a day from from the end of the chain. You set it like six months from the end of the chain or whatever. But now you can say, well, you shouldn't have that. But if you had a six month reorg, that I mean, that's like the end of the chain anyway. Um, no. So you don't think so? No. So, okay. What is preventing proof of stake? I don't know what you mean by that. So why do we not have proof of stake? It's because when you connect to the network, it is impossible to know what is the real world of the blockchain, right? Because there is nothing at stake. You don't have an anchor, right? Mm -hmm. We have an anchor. Oh, no, I agree. New, an new anchor. nodes are not capable. We have an anchor. It is called the Genesis block. That is our anchor. Any other anchor, checkpoint, or whatever you want to call it, that right. is a centralized authority telling us what is the chain. We should never have that because if we issue a checkpoint every week, we don't need proof of work. We can have proof of stake, right? Well, here's one thing I would argue. I mean, as a counter argument, you know, if you're you're building, let's say you're, let's say you're spinning up a new node, and it's, <clears throat> and you want it to be completely trustless. You know, the the node has, as you just said, it has the Genesis block hard coded, but nobody has the Genesis, the hash of the Genesis block memorized. So if you really, uh, you're, what? Uh, I do. Andreas definitely does. So. <laughs> So if you really want your, your software to be, you know, trustless, like you're going to have to go and verify that hash against some known good source. And then you have the issue of where, where, where your known good source. Come on. You did the know this is completely false. For example. Or trust the developers. No, you cannot hash the Genesis block by traditional means. It is hard coded in by hex because it doesn't use the normal rules. That's why we hard coded in. Right? 